hello guys so in previous lecture we will learn about the basics of ready algorithm in this lecture we will discuss the first problem uh, which is a standard problem to solve by ready algorithm uh, that is called the activity selection problem so the uh, ready algorithm uh, have uh, a concept that for any locally optimal choice will lead to globally optimal solution so at each step we make a choice which is greedy in nature and that choice will lead to a globally optimal solution means at, at, at each iteration we will uh, we will consider a locally optimal best solution that will results in the overall best solution so this is the idea behind the greedy approach so the problem activity selection problem says that if we have a set s with uh, n activities so a set s contain n activities that is 1 to n activities then uh, these activities is uh, is used is needs to be executed or we can say that we can use uh, a resource can be used uh, by these activities one at a time so this is a constraint so the constraint uh, defined is the constraint which is defined is uh, we need to use uh, each activity can use a resource resource may be anything so it may be a cpu or something so but every activity can use a resource one at a time okay so this is a constraint now the input is uh, it is given that every activity have each activity has start time denoted by s of i and finish time denoted by f of i so every activity have the start time and finish time the condition is start time is always less than or equal to finish time ok now i can say that uh, so an activity also an activity i take place always take place in the following interval as s of i and f i so this is the one so this type of interval open ended interval this is the open ended interval in which in which uh, one endpoint is included but other endpoint is not included okay so i can say that an activity is compatible an activity is said to be compatible if the start time or or i can say that for one interval start time and finish time of one activity uh, and uh, start time and finish time of another activity j uh, these two activities do not if these two activities do not overlap then i can say that these two activities are uh, compatible activities so overlap means the start time of first should always be greater than the finish time of another so either this condition holds or start time of jth activity should always be greater than finish time of ith activity so either condition may be hold for these activities to be compatible now for the activity this is the problem of activity selection uh, and now we need to uh, the objective is 
the objective is uh, so the problem objective is we need to select a maximum size set of maximum size set of mutually compatible activities and we know that what is a compatible activity okay so if you want to uh, solve this problem using greedy approach so greedy approach will make a choice which is locally optimal okay so the first step is because uh, locally optimal means we need a best solution at the moment and uh, every time we will search for the best solution so the idea is if the input activity is input activity is are sorted or uh, i can say that if the input activities are in order of finish times fi's so f1 should always be less than f2 should always be less than f3 and so on fi or f if n activities are fn okay if the activities are not in order of their finish times then we can sort these activities so it will take order of n less than time the second step would be uh, or second assumptions would be so first assumption for the greedy uh, algorithm or uh, first step of the greedy algorithm is to sort the activities in their uh, uh, according to their finish times then uh, the second assumption is that uh, sub, uh, we have uh, start time array and f uh, f f finish time array so we have two array inputs so so to apply the greedy algorithm we need to uh, have two arrays that is s and f s array contains the start time f array contains the finish time and the uh, the array or the uh, input activities are sorted according to their finish times so uh, let's see uh, what is the greedy algorithm greedy approach to solve this problem so for this we uh, write the procedure for the greedy activity selector which will in which we pass two arrays that is a start time array and finish time array so first uh, the first step is for n we 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 initialize the variable n with the length of start time means how many activities are there so this n will tell you about the uh, number of activities in the problem how many activities are there okay now a is a array in which in which uh, uh, output will be returned okay so a is the output array uh, so a and the array will contain the maximum set of the activities which follows the certain uh, which follows the given constraints okay so initially this array is initialized by the first activity then initialize the value of j so j is also pointing to the first activity now uh, we apply the for loop from activity 2 to n activities if the start time of i means the second activity is greater than finish time of uh, first activity okay so i can say that start time of i is greater than finish time of j here it is j so start time of activity 2 is greater than finish time of activity 1 then i include that activity into the array because the cons this condition is satisfied means these activities are compatible if the activities are compatible then i can add this activity into the uh, output array then we i just change the pointers means j is pointing to uh, the selected activity now and the loop is incremented and i is pointing to the activity next to it okay so this is all about the uh, activity selector uh, procedure now uh, you can see that this procedure is greedy because at each step i will check for the uh, constraint that the start time is always greater than the finish time of other activity so this this procedure is executed to uh, for for ac every activity and each step 
okay now let's let's run an example based on this uh, algorithm so suppose uh, we are given uh, we have given some activities uh, 11 activities and these 11 activities have their start time and finish times so uh, first uh, according to the algorithm we have to initialize the array a which is pointing to the first activity i assume that this array is uh, sorted according to the finish time so these activities are sorted according to their finish times okay uh, so this is already an uh, one assumption and the start time and the finish times are also given so this algorithm starts with the uh, uh, initializing the array with the first activity then we check that start time of this uh, uh, j i i is now pointing to the activity 2 because i is equal to 2 to n i am start my loop from here and j is initially pointing to here so i just check that whether the start time of this i is greater than the finish time of uh, j so finish time of uh, finish time of j is 4 so this is not true so if it is not true uh, i will not add 2 to my activity uh, array okay then check for the another whether 0 0 is uh, greater than 5 uh, sorry 0 0 is greater than 4 so 0 is not greater than 4 again it is not satisfied then i check for the activity 4 now i is here check for the activity 4 so activity 4 5 is greater than 4 yes condition true when condition true i just add update the array a with this activity so in this i update the activity 4 array is updated now the value of i would be updated i is pointing here and j is pointing here again if 3 is greater than 7 no if i is updated i check whether 5 is greater than 7 no then i check for whether i is updated then check whether 6 is greater than 7 no i is updated i check whether 8 is greater than 7 yes 8 is greater than 7 so when 8 is greater than 7 it means this 8th activity is added to my activity array 1 4 8 and the j is pointing to here okay sorry so when i is incremented so j uh, i is incremented j is pointing to uh, j is pointing to 11 excuse me so uh, i again so j is pointing here i is here i check whether this so i is here and j is here after this loop i is here j is here i check whether the start time of 8 is greater than 11 no then i is updated start time 2 is greater than 11 no i is updated start time 12 12 is greater than 11 yes 12 is greater than 11 so i just add this activity to my activity array 1 4 8 11 so this is the final activity array and uh, according to this after that because all activities are covered we have loop from 0 uh, loop i i from 2 to n so the loop is not executed again because here in the size of n is 11 okay so uh, this is the final array of activities or maximum set of activities with the in which all activities are compatible with each other so this is all about the greedy uh, technique to solve the uh, activity selection problem so <coughs> the greedy strategy so we will we will understand the greedy strategy now uh, to find a optimal solution 
we make a sequence of choices at each decision point and the best choice at the moment is selected uh, this approach does not always produce the optimal solution so one point about greedy is that greedy approach does not uh, uh, does not give optimal solution always so there are some t cases in which the, uh, the greedy approach may fail and the greedy choice property says that a globally optimal solution can be achieved by some locally optimal choices okay uh, but in dynamic programming the choices uh, depends upon the solution to the sub problem but in greedy we make choices then we solve the prob sub problems okay so uh, we have some advantages of uh, greedy algorithm the advantages include greedy algorithm are very simple and uh, they are very easy to code because there is no recursion is some 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 of the algorithm or most of the algorithms are iterative algorithms we have easy to code and these algorithms are run very fast so these are the some advantages over greedy algorithm now if uh, we talk about the disadvantages of greedy algorithm then uh, uh, the main disadvantage is, is it will very often provide the globally optimal solution and the problem set is limited the problem uh, number of problems solved by greedy is limited so there are very rare problem for which the greedy algorithm provide the optimal solution for example if uh, a graph is given suppose 3 uh, 8 10 and here it is 2 and 40 and here uh, uh, suppose 1 and uh, 13 suppose this is a uh, tree and uh, the problem is we need to find out the uh, s largest root to leaf sum in this tree we need to find out the largest root to leaf sum then by the greedy approach uh, i can uh, uh, scan the tree by level order so at each level we we, need, we have to make a choice so you start from the root i pick the root node add 3 plus at second level i must pick the maximum uh, uh, key value for the for the two nodes and the maximum key value is 10 so i select the 10 and further i take another maximum key value that is 13 so the total outcome of this uh, approach is uh, uh, 26 now but you can see that the uh, maximum uh, root to leaf sum is uh, uh, 51 instead of 26 so greedy approach does not always give you uh, the best result okay so uh, so in this lecture we will see the uh, activity selection algorithm uh, solved by the greedy algorithm uh, greedy approach in next lecture we will see uh, the all other algorithm of the grid technique in order to uh, uh, get up to date please subscribe the channel you can also share the video or like the video or comment if you have any doubt regarding this concept. Thank you.